Yo, TTC, Nine Around Power, what's up? Uh, let me go ahead and get this out the way that, uh, Chicago Crow, um, we got our ass kicked, uh, in that game. I'm gonna put this, uh, blame on Chip Kelly, to be honest with you, um, the dude coached three years in motherfucking Philadelphia. Three motherfucking years in Philadelphia, and... He comes out this game and doesn't want to throw the goddamn football because of the weather. Really? I mean, come on, dude. You just didn't even force Chicago's defense to turn us one-dimensional. You just came out from jump with the one-dimensional game plan against a defensive coordinator like Vic Fangio? You can't do that shit. You know, so... Fuck you, Chip Kelly. Um, You can eat a dick. For this game, period. And then you want to bench Kaepernick, like... You know... I'm not saying he played exceptional in this game, but... When you go with the one-dimensional game plan like that, you can't sit there and throw this shit on your quarterback and blame his motherfucking ass. All right, I know he's starting against the Jets and shit like that, but, you know, we're plain and simple. I really can't say nothing else except we plain and simple got our motherfucking ass kicked. So, congrats to you motherfucking Bears. So, now, moving on from that, I'm going to knock out this uh, Jets hate week real quick. Honestly, I don't know of any TTC fans personally that are Jets fans, or TTC members that are Jets fans. There probably is. Me, personally, I don't know of them. Um, so, should we win this game? Sure, we should have won that Bears game. I mean, Jesus Christ, they have Matt fucking Barkley. Matt fucking Barkley. These motherfuckers are down to Bryce goddamn Petty. Um, so, should we win this game? Yeah. Should we have won a lot of our games this year? To be honest with you, yeah, we should have. But... You know, it's not working out the way it should, so fucking, who knows what the fuck's going to happen this game. I want to win. We need a win. The fans need a goddamn win. I think I said that last week or the week before. We need a motherfucking win. Bad. You know, uh, give us a glimmer of hope. So, you know, we're going to come out here and... I mean, we're actually favorite this game. I guess. I mean, I really don't have too much to say about that. But, you know, 1-11. And, and, you know, I'm still making these videos. So, I'm going to be here for my team no matter what. Uh, but, fuck, we need this win. We need this win bad. So, you know, fuck these stupid-ass Jets. And... No, we're going to get this win and go from there, I guess, because we got a fucking hell of an offense coming and that we got to play against after the Jets. So, you know, it's like, fuck, can we do something? Can we put some positives together and shit like that? So, you know, it is what it is. So... Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about real quick, this mainly for the Niner fans. Um, I heard about Vance McDonald's new contract personally. I understand he's having a career year. I understand he's having the best year he's had since he's been with us. Me personally, that motherfucker ain't worth $7 million a year. So, you know, you guys could agree or disagree. I don't know. Me, personally, that motherfucker ain't worth $7 million a year. He hasn't shown enough consistency, even with his hands. Even this year, he's still dropped a few key passes, so. You know, but Niners want to give him a fucking five-year, $35 million deal. It is what it is. So, let's go out here, get this W, fuck these Jets, and move on to worry about Atlanta next week. That's all I got. I'm out.